Well, hello, fellow improviser. Thanks for being curious and clicking play. I'm William Hall from ImprovGames.com, making the world a better place, one playful game at a time. This is a fifth in a series about Zoom and improvisation. Today, I've got a game from my special guest, Frank Schmalahanga. And after that, I'm going to share a Zoom tip that's useful for increasing engagement, even for your work meetings. So let's start with an activity from my friend and colleague, Frank Schmalahanga. Now, he runs a communications consultancy out of the Netherlands, and you can find him at pitchcoach.online. The link will be in the notes below. Okay, Frank, over to you. What do you got? Hi, this is Frank, and I'm vlogging from my living room, which is the reality for a lot of work we, doing, we are doing these days, as well as our participants, which are at home, at the kitchen table, in the bedroom, or, well, anywhere in home. This gives some new opportunities for icebreaker games, which we didn't have before. One of the things I like to ask my participants these days is grab something which is at arm's reach at this moment and then use this to introduce yourself to the group. It's personal, it tells something about what is near to you in a home environment. A variation of this game I might even like better is to ask the participants to describe what is just out of frame. What are we not seeing? And then, of course, the follow-up question will be, is it out of frame because you don't want us to see, or are you really sad we can't see? In my case, for example, just out of frame, you will find a pinball machine. And what does that tell you about me? Well, I am a playful guy, even when I'm not on camera or not working. For now, I really invi invite you to, in the comments, write some nice exercises you you found out or did, which make use of participants being in their own home environments. And then, as always, stay safe and keep playing. Thank you, Frank. I've been using this activity, and it works really well to ground the group in time and space to be present. Frank's got a lot of great tips. You can find them at improvgames.com. Now, here's my Zoom tip for you. For workshops and meetings, it's useful to have the participants talk in small groups to discuss a topic or recent activity. For my live programs, I use a structure called pair and share. Everyone gets into groups of two, and for just a couple of minutes, they share their thoughts. It's a simple way to get everyone's voice in the room. Hey, even introverts prefer this to speaking up in a large group. Now, doing this on Zoom can be really clumsy and time-consuming. You've got to create breakout rooms, you've got to assign people, you've got to invite them in there, and you know, well, it's a thing. Here's the simpler and faster way. Assign people to work in pairs and invite them to use the chat function so they can start a text-based discussion. You probably know this, but in chat on Zoom, you can type a message to everyone or to someone privately. The easiest way to do this, you, you just call out names of pairs. Suresh, you'll be working with Barbara, Keith, you're going to be walk, working with Viola, and so on. At, uh, you assign them an amount of time, a minute, a couple of minutes. You can also be specific about what you want them to discuss. You can give them a prompt. After a couple of minutes, bring their attention back, ask if anyone wants to share. By the way, not everyone has to share in the group, but everyone has the opportunity to reflect and debrief. Everyone is engaged. Well, what do you think? Are these two tips useful? Please let me know in the comments. And it would be great if you could like, subscribe, and share this video with your colleagues. That would be fantastic. Hey, if you found it useful, you'll be a hero when you share it with them. And please, consider bringing improv thinking to your work. We can custom design a workshop for you. And our most popular one is a 45-minute team-building workshop called Play, Build, Strong Teams. Anyway, talk to me and play on. Remember, the more we play, the better and kinder the world gets.